Hey everybody, welcome to Stamping with Melva. I'm Melva Peters and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in British Columbia, Canada. And you can find me online at stampingwithmelva.com. Now tonight, it's Tuesday night and I always hop on on Tuesday nights to do a sketch challenge. So I'm so hoping there'll be some people joining, um, but I'll get started. Um, so tonight, I'm using a fairly simple sketch. I think I've said that a little bit over the last while. Um, seems to me my sketches are fairly simple. Um, but I really like this and I'm using a new product suite. Hey, Catherine, welcome. Um, I'm using a new product suite, just checking Facebook to see who's on. Cause I can actually see some people on. Don't forget. Um, if you're coming in through Facebook, you need to give, um, StreamYard, which is the, oh, hello, Dawn and Tam. Thank you. You need to give StreamYard permission, um, so you go to streamyard.com slash Facebook and give it permission so that I can actually see who's commenting. Otherwise, I see Facebook user. Um, I see your comments. I just don't know who's commenting and I love to know who's commenting, but I can actually see if I get into my group. And that's why I'm kind of looking down at my phone sometimes to see who's commenting. Okay, there we go. 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 Sorry about that gosh apologies i don't know i thought i had my my speaker turned off and clearly i didn't so um gosh technology um yeah so give uh, Streamyard permission and that way i'll see who's commenting hey Marin, welcome okay so i'm using a new suite of products this is the oh gosh and i had the name waves of the ocean product suite this is an early release from the annual catalog it will be available for customers to order starting march 1st but as demonstrators we've been able to order it in advance um or if you sign up as a demonstrator and we welcome you into the community um before the end of february you can actually add this product suite to your uh your starter kit so that's kind of a perk. Um, you'll get uh, early early access to these products. Uh, the bundle with the stamp set and, and dies will carry over into the annual catalog, but the designer series paper, the foil, and I'll show you all that in a minute, the foil and the, the rhinestones will not carry over. And they're stunning. Oh my gosh, they are so stunning. All right, so let me switch over and I will uh, we'll start. Okay, first of all, let, this is the sketch. Um, so as I said, fairly simple. So you've got a uh, card base that's five and a half by eight and a half, two pieces of, uh, cardstock, um, that's three quarters of an inch by five and a quarter, one piece that's two and a half by five and a quarter, uh, a piece for the sentiment. Um, uh, so your sentiment piece, which is the white, which is half inch by three inches or whatever piece of basic white or very vanilla that will fit your sentiment. You can make it bigger if your sentiment is bigger. Uh, and then a uh, mat or layer for underneath that is three quarters by three and a quarter. Or if you've made your sentiment, if your sentiment's bigger and your basic white piece is bigger, you just need to make your, this mat that's green on my sketch, a quarter of inch, quarter inch bigger all around to fit. That's basically what a mat is. So if you're piece that fits your sentiment is one inch by three inches, say, you would make it one and a quarter by three and a quarter. Hopefully that makes sense. So again, fairly simple. So that's my sketch. Now let me show you this amazing product suite. Hey, Darlene. So first of all, this is the stamp set. Let me get the dies. So this is the bundle. This will carry over. I have not played with the dies yet. Um, some great, these these are the waves. Haven't played with any of the dies yet and I'm not going to do it tonight. So there are the waves. There actually are some birds, some clouds. This piece cuts out this amazing little pelican that's on these, uh, these stumps. And then two really nice um, label dies that you can actually pull ribbon through, which is kind of cool. So I'm, I'm gonna play with that, but not tonight. So the stamp set has some really pretty sentiments. Happy birthday. Our friendship is a thing of beauty. This great pelican and then this great wave. Lots of things you can do with, with that wave as far as ways to color it. OK, 
Okay, so that's the bundle. This, like I said, will carry over into the annual catalog. The parts that will not carry over are, first of all, this amazing, amazing paper. So one side is all, it reminds me of the bubble technique. Have you ever played with a bubble technique where you mix some uh, water with a reinker and then add some a few drops of dish soap and then you use a straw to blow bubbles and then you put your paper onto those bubbles and it creates a, a pattern like this. So in this case, they've used multiple colors, but it creates a very similar pattern like this. So the colors are, um, I think it's, I've got my piece here, Night of Navy, uh, Pacific Point, Coastal Cabana, Granny Apple Green. Um, there's also some yellow, I'll show you that. So these first one sides are all the blues and greens, Coastal Cabana. A little bit of Granny Apple Green in there. Looks like waves and water moving. Um, just really pretty. This will be so pretty and you can pop this up so with some nice bright colors. I think this is, I'm going to say, I think this is my favorite. I don't know. I said one of these was my favorite last night. And now I don't know which one it is because they're all stunning. I just love the Pacific Point and Granny Apple Green together. Again, kind of looks like the waves on a seashore. And then this definitely waves. I live on the West Coast. So for me, anything water is beautiful. So then the other side is all colors. So I think this is mint macaron and uh, granny apple green, coastal uh, calypso coral. This is the daffodil delight in calypso coral. So pretty. Again, more daffodil delight, a little bit of, uh, there's some petal pink on these ones as well. This was really pretty with the, all the colors, the, the calypso coral, a little bit of the um, daffodil delight, petal pink, coastal cabana and Pacific point. So pretty. And then this one, just with the, the blues and the Coastal Cabana in it. Gosh, it's stunning paper. So this, this will not carry over. And then to coordinate with this is some great foils. And it's going to be hard to see because I've got this horrible glare on my light. So there is Silver um, Pacific Point, and this one is Coastal Cabana. Just so pretty. We've needed a silver foil. And then the last thing, that out of the, way, the last thing that is part of the suite are these amazing um, rhinestones. And they are in a whole series of colors from uh, Pacific Point kind of fading all the way. There's This looks like more balmy blue, uh, pool party, um, granny apple green, and then the coastal cabana in two, no, actually three different sizes, mostly little ones but you do get four, four of each of the, the, uh, the colors in the two different sizes. Love, love, love these. Okay, so let me bring in my supplies. Hey, Kathleen, welcome. All right, so I've got a piece of Coastal Cabana cardstock. It's kind of fun. I don't use these colors. I don't remember the last time I used Pacific Point. Um, and I don't use Coastal Cabana very much. So it's kind of nice to actually dig some of these colors out of my, my uh, paper drawer and card drop drawer. So I've scored this. This is five and a half by eight and a half. And I've scored it at four and a quarter. This is the side I scored on. And so I'm going to fold into the mountain or the raised side which is this side, the opposite side. I always have to feel. So I'm looking, feeling for the bump and that's the side I want to fold into. So it just gives you a better fold. Get your bone folder out, give it a really good burnish with your bone folder. Okay, so now I have got a piece of basic white and I'm gonna, this, I'm gonna stamp on this. So this is basic white. Uh, this is two and a half by five and a quarter. And then I have two pieces of um, designer series paper that I cut three quarters of an inch by five and a quarter. So it's going to border on here. I could have used some of the foil, but I'm going to use the foil for my sentiment piece. 
So let's do some stamping. I'm going to, this is the really big um, wave. Now, I have a hard time using, I, I will admit, I have a hard time using this um, really big. This is the, I can't remember what size, this is the F block. This is the largest block. So sometimes when I've got these really big stamps that will force me to bring out this block, I will actually use my stamp apparatus. I just find I get a much better stamp. I didn't have time to grab my stamp apparatus tonight and get it all set up before the live. So I'm going to use, use my, uh, my F block for this. I am going to stamp this in Coastal Cabana. And then I'm going to add some color to it. So one of the things that you can do, so I've stamped it in Coastal Cabana. Now I've got my Pacific Point. You can also use your, your um, markers. You could color this with markers, and I did that last night using Pacific Point and, and Granny Apple Green. Um, so I've stamped this in Coastal Cabana. Tonight I'm going to use Pacific Point, and I'm going to use a sponge dauber to pick up some Pacific Point and just kind of sponge onto here, not all over, but just to add some color. Now, if you aren't someone who likes to be surprised at what it looks like, you might not like this technique, or you might want to try it out and see how much you have to use, but I kind of like this technique, so I'm okay being surprised. So I'm gonna just take and stamp this and I'm hoping I'm going to get it relatively straight. Now with these big stamps just make sure you're pressing over the entire stamp so that you get a half decent image. That's why the Stamparatus. Oh isn't that? I don't know that you can see that. Let me bring this up to the camera slowly. Can you see the color? So as I said I, I stamped it in um, Coastal Cabana and then I added the blue and it just just adds that pop of color. You can get the same effect by using your markers um, as well. All right, so there's my wave. Now I've got another piece that I'm going to, I've got some basic gray and I'm gonna stamp my, my pelican. I love pelicans. My husband and I like to go to Mexico. It's really dark. Let's try that again. Um, we'd like to go to Mexico and uh, we always used to go to this um, outside of Puerto Vallarta, just north is a place, a little village, well it's not so little anymore, called Bucerias. And we'd sit on the beach enjoying a margarita and watching the pelicans because they're just so fascinating as they, as they fly. Um, but the last time we went there weren't any pelicans. So it was kind of sad, but I love to watch the pelicans. Now I am going to use the die to cut the pelican piece out. So I'm just going to bring in my mini stamp and cut emboss because this is the perfect size for this. Now I've got a piece of post it note tape here. You can use a post it note. I'm just going to hold that in place. I kind of like to put something to hold it in place, especially when you're trying to um, cut around a stamped image. All right, there we go. So maybe the, by the time we get to go back to Mexico, the next time there'll be there'll be pelicans to watch. But they're so fun watching them fly, and then they. They kind of fly straight down into the water to scoop up the, the fish. Put that back in its envelope. Okay. So let's start. I've got my waves. I've got my pelican. And I've got my pieces of designer series for paper. Okay. So what we're going to do is I'm going to adhere this piece. I'm gonna roughly put this piece in where I think it needs to go, just to get a sense 
of, uh, I'm not going to glue it down. And then I'm going to take and, and um, put my designer series paper on. There we go. Using uh, the liquid glue just gives you some wiggle room because if I didn't quite get this where I want it to go, that's not too bad. There we go. So this will butt right up against the, the piece of, of basic white. So once you've got one piece in place, you can adhere the other piece down. Oops. That's why you uh, use the liquid glue, because when you do that, I was holding it too hard in one spot and moved the whole thing. All right, then we will put the second piece down. Could have put a piece of Pacific Point behind this if you wanted to. You could um, add an extra layer. I, I didn't do that. But there we go. Okay, so there's my card front. And let's pop this pelican up. Some dimensionals. You could color this instead of just stamping if you wanted to. Now I need a mini dimensional somewhere. I have some mini. No, not those. There's some. All right. I always have a hard time, I've said this before, getting the mini dimensionals off with my fingers. So I like to use the take your pick tools. So I'm just going to put one up at the top. Um, and then we will put looking here. Hmm, where should I put this? All right, I'm having a conundrum because I'm just going to set that there because the reason I'm debating is because my sentiment piece is supposed to go here. So my question is, do I put this over here? I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, well, maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> I can't decide. So this is following the sketch a little bit more. Okay, we'll do that. So we'll put my pelican here, and then I'll put my sentiment piece over top. Now, I am going to use some Pacific Point to stamp. Happy birthday. Let's get it going the right way. You could use your uh, your uh, markers to do this. This is kind of a perfect one too. Um, you could even do each of the letters in a different color. But all right, somebody agrees with me. <laughs> all right, then I've cut. So this is my piece that's half inch by three inches. My I've cut a piece of the foil. This is the uh, Coastal Cabana um, foil. And so I've cut this to be uh, three quarters of an inch by three and a quarter. And I'm going to use dimensionals, mini dimensionals, to pop this up. And just put four, just to, so it doesn't sag too much. All right, and then... There we go. Now, because my pelican is popped up, I'm going to double dimensional each end of this and the middle so that it doesn't, um, so it kind of fits over top. So I'm going to put three dimensionals on one, there we go. And then I'm going to take the backings off of this and put one more layer of dimensional on this so that it it goes up and over the pelican nicely. Somebody called that double D. 
it was funny the other day when I was on my a stamp count. All right, so I'm gonna try and move my pelican over slightly to see if I can see if I can. Oh, that's not gonna happen. Okay, we're just going to do it like this. We'll do it even with the card. There we go. So this is definitely a raised up, raised up um, card. Hopefully it won't cost extra in the mail to mail it. Okay, so now let's, I've got a piece of basic white and I'm just gonna stamp the pelican on the inside. I'm gonna stamp off and then just stamp my pelican in the corner like that. So this will go on the inside of the card. So this is four inches by five and a quarter. And that will go on the inside of the card. Get it kind of lined up, there we go. I can put a sentiment in there after. And then the last thing I wanna do is to add some of these fabulous rhinestones. So let's use some of these Calypso Coral rhinestones. Let's put one there. And one there. There we go. Just so pretty those rhinestones. So I don't know. Hopefully you can see the colors on the on the wave. Just some options for you um, as far as coloring it. You could do like I did where I stamped it in the Calypso Coral. I tend to stamp it in the lighter color and then use my sponge dauber with the darker color. Um, I find that if you stamp in the darker color and then try to put a lighter color, of course, you won't actually see much of that lighter color. So, um, or I could have used my markers to color my, my stamp. Um, and then uh, just two little strips of designer series paper. You could have, I could have popped up some of the, put some foil behind this and made it pop even more, or even some um, uh, of the Pacific, Pacific Point cardstock, just to give it a little bit more color. But I'm pretty pleased with how this turned out all in all. Okay, let me bring the sketch back in. So this is the sketch. Um, so pretty similar. I did raise up, move this just slightly up, but you can put your sentiment wherever you want. So the sketch will be going live on my Facebook group uh, and page, as well as Instagram um, shortly. Uh, if it, yeah, I think it's shortly. And uh, so you'll be able to follow along. Um, and if you're on YouTube, there is a link to my Facebook group uh, or our Facebook page there that you can go and get the sketch to play along with. Don't forget um, to, uh, if you're not part of my Facebook uh, group or page already, you can, you can request to join my group and that way uh, you'll get notifications of, uh, when I'm going live and, and doing different events. Um, I also love to, for you to share your cards. It's always fun to see what everybody's creating. So please share your cards. At the end of each month, I uh, send, I, I pick at least one person who shared their cards and um, send them some little thing in the mail um, to thank them for sharing their beautiful creations. So uh, if you're uh, interested in doing that, please join my Facebook group um, and the link is underneath this video. Uh, if you're coming in through YouTube and you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe to my channel. That way you will get notified when I go live. Um, I can't do notifications in advance on YouTube like I can on uh, Facebook. So uh, at least you get notified when, when I go live. All right, everybody, thanks for joining me. I will be back on Thursday night at 6.30 Pacific with a technique. And uh, so hopefully you will come and join me. And until then, happy stamping. Bye, everybody.